Hi, I'm John Doonan, Director of Motorsports from Mazda North America. I'm here at Sebring International Raceway today to help take the wraps off of what I would call Mazda's most ambitious sports car racing program in many decades. What you're going to see from Mazda in 2014 is what I like to call step two. In 2013, in the Grand Am Rolex Series, we brought the Mazda 6 Skyactiv diesels to the GX category. It was the first step in a learning experience that probably has five years of length. What you'll see in 2014 in the Tudor United Sports Car Championship is our new package in the prototype category, really based around an LMP2 package uh, with the Skyactiv diesel technology, but now taking it a step further in terms of uh, what we're asking of the engine in terms of horsepower and torque, and what we're asking of the entire package uh, through Speed Sources program. As we developed the strategy, the idea of being able to race for overall wins was a key part to allow us to tell the marketing and communication story, not only of Skyactiv, but of the Mazda brand. In 2013, we brought Skyactiv diesel technology to the Mazda 6 program in GX. Now we're bringing it to a two-car effort based around the Lola LMP2 chassis. In terms of the engine, obviously packaging in this vehicle is a lot different than in a tube chassis silhouette car. We're still using 50% of the stock components from the road car in this new package. Um, but overall, the crankshaft, the pistons, the rods, those are the only main components from the road car engine that we've had to change to achieve the horsepower and torque targets that are demanded here at the top level of sports car racing. Back in 2012, we announced our intentions to provide customer LMP2 engines. Uh, this is a proof point for us. We're gonna take 2014 to refine this package, uh, increase the reliability, increase durability, such that at some point we can provide a reliable LMP2 customer engine uh, to customer teams to compete both here in the United Sports Car Championship as well as potentially in WEC and eventually at the 24 Hours of Le Mans.